Tina Jomad Peterson, who died on Monday, has been hailed as a dedicated leader of society. The 59-year-old from the Northern Cape gained prominence in politics when she campaigned for the ANC in 1994, ensuring the party won the first democratic elections in her home province. At the time of her death, she was embroiled in allegations of soliciting a bribe from suspended public protector advocate Busisi Wemkwebane during the inquiry into her fitness to hold office. She was also a member of the ad hoc committee on the Section 194 inquiry, which will determine if the suspended public protector is fit to hold office. President Ramaphosa offers his sincere condolences to the family of the former minister and especially her sons, Austin and Terence. The president extends his sympathy to the friends, comrades and parliamentary colleagues of the late leader who was born in Kimberley and served as MSc for education from 1994. Last year at the ANC's 55th elective conference, she contested for the position of Deputy Secretary General and lost out to Nomvula Mukonyani. Now before her passing, her eyes were set on the position of Deputy President of the Women's League in the upcoming elective conference in June. She was contesting a deputy president position in the Women's League in the coming weeks um, where conference will be convened um, in terms of the leadership of the Women's League. Hence, we are saying that this is definitely a loss um, to see when we have few leaders in the Women's League that are really in the country that are taking the forefront of, of leading. It is a sad um, issue. We are all distressed about um, her passing away and I've sent condolences uh, to the family to say condolences to them um, and, and uh, it's tra quite a tragedy. Jomad Peterson also served as an MEC for education, art and culture for a decade in her province, the Northern Cape. Ntantla Katani, SCBC News, Johannesburg.